Hello and welcome to another Plugback video tutorial. The goal of this video is to show users how to go about installing an exploit or script onto the bot to be used during a red team operation, a penetration test, or a physical penetration test. If you haven't already seen our Plugback video series titled Getting Started with Plugback, please visit our website at redteamsecure.com slash labs. Plugbot is a research project by Red Team Security that started around 2009 aimed at entertaining the concept of a hardware botnet. That is to say, a botnet very much unlike how we know it today. Today a botnet requires a victim's system to be hacked in some form, usually through malware infection in conjunction with some aspect of social engineering. A hardware botnet, or a plugbot botnet, consists of a network of rogue, covert computers purposefully and physically placed somewhere, um, such as an office, substation, warehouse, refinery, or a building. This allows for remote persistence to support system exploitation, data exfiltration, network sniffing, advanced pivoting, and so forth. We at Red Team Security use Plugbot extensively during our Red Team operations once we're able to make covert entry into a target location. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is go out to gist.github.com slash redteamsecurity. This is going to give you a list of ready-to-use sample plugbot scripts that help you get off the ground running. This will eventually prepare you to package your own exploits within Plugbot as well. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to be leveraging the myip.sh script available on our GIST site. Effectively, all it does is get the IP address of the bot, both the external one and the external and the internal one as well. So let's go back to our command and control and log in. First thing we want to do is check out the bots that we have listed, and right now we've only got one that's checking in. Quick view of the log shows us that it has been checking in and things look well. It does not have any apps, so we're going to go ahead and click on Add an App. Now the one that we're going to install is the Get IP Addresses script. Right now it's being publicly hosted on this website. I'm just going to copy the link and paste it back into our Add Application settings. First of all, we're going to select the bot. Come up with a name, add a brief description to it, and then I'm going to paste in the app download link. I'm going to remove the zip file name and paste it down below, right here. And the app executable, I'm going to refer back. This is the name of the script itself. In this case, it's myip.sh. So let's go back to command and control. Let's go back to command and control, paste that in. We're going to leave the default at no for interactive app and click add application. Okay, the application has been added, as you can see here, with the status of pending. Now I'm going to quickly uh, go to the settings and enable help. And let's go back to manage apps and see how our application is doing. And actually it's been installed. So we're ready to go. It's uh, It's been installed and quick view of the log shows us, let's turn this off. Give us a bit more screen real estate. Let's go back to logs. And in that short time, we see it's been picked up by the bot. So go back here and we can see it's been installed. So that tells us that it's been installed on the bot itself. Now the next step we gotta do is add a job. So let's just come up with a name here. We're gonna get the IP addresses off the bot. It's gonna be the demo bot that we're selecting. This is the application that we wanna run on that bot. Uh, Pre-fills the job command. We want it to upload the results here to command and control. I'm just gonna click add. And while this is running, uh, which could take up to several minutes to actually do, we see our job here is being listed uh, with, a send, with a status of pending. I'm just gonna enable help really quick. Let's go back. As you can see here, once this comes, there we go, pending. If we refer to the status, it indicates that the job is waiting to be retrieved by the bot. Um, once that happens, it's going to receive an update of running job. But as I was going to mention before, it takes a few minutes for actually for both processes to, to kind of execute. 
Let's go back to manage jobs and see how it's doing. It's probably still at pending, which it is. Again, at this point, you know, our, our bot is from wherever it's located physically at the target location. It's phoning home over the internet. It's looking for things. Um, it just hasn't run through that cycle just yet. Uh, one thing we can use to kind of keep track of it is we'll monitor our view all logs area. Let's go back here really quick and see if it's been. Okay, great. So now it's running. Running means that the job has been received by the bot that's been deployed out there remotely and is ready to actually execute it. So let's turn off help so we get a bit more real estate. Let's go back to manage jobs. And it's currently still running. So again, it's there's a there's probably up to about a two minute process before it actually receives the job and then executes it. Or two separate processes that we use to do that. Um, basically, what it's going to do is going to take this internal and external IP address and effectively report it uh, in the uh, in this area here. We'll see a little magnifying glass icon once the status has been complete, and we can actually view that output. And it looks like it's done now. So let's go ahead and click on this little guy. And there's the result of our script. So our, we can see our IP address. We can see the internal IP address of the bot right here. And that's all we have today. Thank you again for taking the time out to watch these videos. If you haven't already seen our Getting Started with PlugBot video series, please do so at www.redteamsecure.com labs. Thanks and have a great day.